all parts and pieces open jupyter notebook and type done within chat i am waiting for your reply all parts and pieces open jupyter notebook and type done with the chat uh, then i will move to next step now you have learned how to read how to write and how to edit how to read how to write and how to how to edit a script today we will learn how we use how we can apply ai tools for data analysis in python so in our today class we will again learn four skill first we will learn how to generate a script for specific analysis second we will learn how to read this script and how to uh, edit this script because uh, r is a programming lang uh, python is the programming language and we have just a uh, uh, very very less vocabulary so we need to improve our vocabulary day by day so for this purpose reading is very reading and editing is reading and editing process is very important for understanding uh, reading and uh writing for uh, understanding its vocabulary and grammar so our today task is how to generate a code for specific analysis but uh, with uh, generation we will also learn how to read and write a specific code and how to edit okay so please in our previous class we have successfully import ficus file so for uh, to import ficus file we need to uh, run our previous code previous lines first we need to import file uh, for file import we have run a code in our previous uh, class uh, that is you can see first we need a package uh, pandas second we need to run this code uh, pd.readxl and then we need to convert this code into a name ficus then it will uh, convert it into a code that is ficus so when you run ficus it will show you the data set of ficus file so you need to import your file again so type here or you can open new uh, message box type here import pandas as pd and run this code okay after this you need to import file so type pd pd is the package name dot read underscore excel excel is the function name pd is package pd mean panda here we import panda as pd so pd mean panda panda dot read excel panda is the package read excel is its function within bracket you need to type your file name with inverted comma ficus dot xls inverted comma close bracket close and run this code 
when you run this code, you will get uh, this message or uh, this uh, summary of your data set. So please uh, complete uh, these two steps and type done within chat. And then I will move to next step. Now I am just waiting for your reply. So please type done. Import your ficus file and type done. Okay. Now I want to give a name to this file. You can give a name data, you can give a name ficus, you can give a name research data, anyone uh, which you want to give name, you can alert name to this code. So I want to give name to this code ficus. So give equal sign and write ficus. And click on this code and run it again. No, it is converted into yeah, code or script uh, with ficus. So, no, you just run ficus. It will show you the result of this complete script. When you run ficus, this script will run. When you run ficus, this script will run. Please complete this step and type done within chat. Okay, next step is uh, you need a AI tool. So we will use uh, chat GPT. Please all participants confirm me. Uh, are you using chat GPT for any task? I am already using chat GPT, so I am typing here yes. If you are familiar and already using chat GPT, please type yes within chat. If you are using chat GPT for any purpose, you can type yes. And if someone still not familiar with it, uh, you may type no. Because it is a very, very advanced tool. Okay. Now we will integrate, we will apply AI tools for uh, data analysis. So for AI tools, you need summary of your data set or you need just heading of your data set. We will apply uh, many methods uh, on which we know today we will apply first method that first we need to copy these headings, just only these heading. So please copy this heading, copy. Here is the copy button. Copy this heading. Open Google Chrome. Open Chat GPT. Paste this heading within chat. And type done. Before running, you need to write a line here. So please all participants uh, copy heading of your data set and paste it within chat GPT message and type done. Then I will let you know uh, which you need to uh, type here, uh, which you need to type a message for chat GPT. Copy and wait for message. Copy and paste and, and wait for message. Please all participants confirm.
copy this heading from uh, Python and paste it within your chat GPT. And write a line here. I want to apply correlation analysis in Python please write Python script second you need to give an instruction about your data set also describe your data for example and before writing here these are the variables before these are the variables names in data set name ficus i am showing you i have a data set name ficus and all these are variable of the ficus data set the first four variables are numeric while fifth variable while fifth variable species is character now I give two instructions. First instruction is about for my data set and second instruction about my task. First I show my data to ChatGPT. I show my data structure to ChatGPT and in second step I will demand, I will ask a question, I, I will write my uh, requirements to ChatGPT. So my requirement is I want to apply correlation analysis in Python. Please write Python script and send this message. When you send this message to ChatGPT, ChatGPT gave you uh, here's a Python script that apply correlation analysis to numeric column in your data set. So here are some code. First, we need to read, edit, and then we will run this code. Okay, copy this code. Copy, open your Python. Maybe you get a different script, but don't worry. We will read because for our first day for uh, code generating, maybe you face some issues. So first we need to understand this code. First we need to uh, read this code. The first line show that import panda spd it's mean we are going to activate panda package import seaborn as sns we are going to import we are going to library seaborn uh, package in matplotlib.payplot it is another package for creating a plot uh, headings labeling and other uh, related to text we can use matplotlib.payplot so next step is, so these are three tools. These are three packages, which we will uh, use for uh, correlation analysis. Second, load the data set, PyCast.csv. Here is the very important point. It shows that load the data set, replace PyCast.csv with the path to your file if it is in CSV format. Because we file is in, Excel file format, not as in CSV file format. Now you are able to understand uh, our file is uh, XLS, but here file is CSV. And here is the code for CSV. We need to edit here. We need to edit some things. So type here, 
read excel and also replace here xls instead of csv because our file is xls no second quote select numeric column for the correlation analysis as we know that for correlation analysis we need all variables in numeric form our data should be in numeric you can also run on qualitative data correlation analysis but it is another case we are now working on numeric data quantitative data so for uh, this select numeric columns for a correlation analysis for correlation analysis we need just only numeric variables so here is the numeric columns here is our ficus file and uh, this is for selection so we selected this column name petal width petal length sepal width sepal length no next is compute the correlation matrix next step is calculation of correlation matrix when you want to uh, uh, perform a correlation analysis the first step is uh, your data set second you need to convert your data into matrix so this is the uh, second step for converting your data set into matrix so this is the formula dot four run this code when you run this code it will show you the results like this okay no, we need to read our next code. Here is this code for plot. Uh, plot the correlation matrix using a heat map. Plot dot figure. Here is the figure size. You can increase or decrease. Here are uh, 8 by 6. You can decrease 4 by 2. And run it again. It is editing. You can see the size, size of the image reduced. No, second, SNP judge heat map correlation matrix. Anode, anode true. If you give anode false, false. No, run this again. It will remove all uh, values within this plot. No, this plot is without value. Here are cool warm colors. Scare true. You can also scare false. And run this code. This is the editing. Now you can also uh, increase width. It is 0 0.5. You can change from 0 0.5 to 1. Now you can check the width of the uh, lines uh, between these boxes increased. Second is plot dot title. Correlation matrix numeric variable in the ficus data set. If you just show ficus data set, select this one and run this code again, it will show you ficus data set. No. So here is a very simple code or script. So please uh, let me know if you have done this code successfully. Then I will let you know how to read this code. Please run this code. and type done within chat. Okay, uh, Kamara, please share your screen. Copy this code. You may be uh, pick, drag, and drop it within your uh, WhatsApp group.
I am allowing you, please, uh, share your screen. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, okay, I am repeating this step. Or you can uh, check the instruction to chat GPT. I am sending the instruction to chat GPT uh, within group. So you can follow these instructions. Copy. And here is your group. Paste and run. Please all participants draw this plot. I pick, drag and drop in your WhatsApp group. Now, here are some uh, terms uh, which you need to edit. For example, you can change size 8, 6, 6 to 8. You can also change annotate true. See map, color map, scheme. Here is color is cool, warm. Although some other schemes are available, uh, square equal to, so what is uh, square equal to a line width? You need to understand these terms. So uh, copy this. No, we are going to read this complete script. What is its meaning each and every word? Copy. Open charge, open charge GPT. Paste here and write a line. Please explain each and every word of this script and send message. Now here is the breakdown of your, here is the breakdown of the script with each line explained in the detailed. Number one, import Panda SPD, import Seaborn as SNS, import matplotlib dot plot as a plot. Import Panda as PD. This uh, import the Pandas library. It is a powerful tool for uh, data manipulation and uh, data analysis. PD is uh, an alias to simplify the use of Pandas. So it is the abbreviation of uh, Pandas package. Functions later in, in this script. Second is import Seaborn as SNP. Import the Seaborn library. It's mean to turn on Seaborn, which provide function for creating attractive and informative statistical graphs. The alias SNS is used for convenience. So it is the abbreviation of uh, Seaborns. So another lines, ficus.pd. Read the Excel files and name ficus.xls and load it as a pandas data frame, which is table-like data structure. Picus is the variable name assigned to the data frame, representing the data from the ficus.xl files. No, numeric columns. So each and every words are given, but we want to uh, check because uh, we are familiar with other codes, but we are familiar uh, from all this code, but we are unfamiliar with annotate. What is mean by annotate and what is C comp? C comp mean color map, color scheme. So we need to focus on these lines. So you need to come on last lines. So here is annotate. Display the actual correlation values inside each cell of the heat map. When you annotate and not equal true, it shows you the values within the plot. If you give false, values not appeared in the plot. Camp cool warm. Set the color palettes with blue for low values and red for high values. Square equal to make each cell square shaped for a balanced appearance. So all uh, square true mean all uh, boxes in a square form. Now, how we edit 
more things from here. For example, I say I want to change color scheme in this plot. You can say to chat GPT or other color schemes are available for this or other color schemes are, are available for this and send message question mark and send message yes there are many other color schemes are available in C bonds and matplotlib that can use with here here are some a few popular options you uh, might find useful sequential color map for example and these are ideal for data that progress from low to high values so you can use these you can use diverging color map uh, cool warm bwr uh, seismic uh, pyg b or bg so you can change for example i want to apply bwr copy this open your python script and replace here uh, color map with b wr and run this code now you can say uh, color scheme change drag and paste it within group now you can check its color scheme different from previous one now you can match if you want to uh, apply seismic copy seismic copy open your and replace it with BWR with seismic and run this code. Here are seismic plots. Drag and drop it into your group. If you want to apply some others, for example, uh, set one, pastel one, and others, plasma, magma, in Inferior, inferior. So copy inferior. You can apply or you can edit all these names with color map scheme. So you can, in this way, you can change uh, color according to your desire or need. Here are the some other colors. No. Next step is square equal true. You need to ask another question. Square equal true. Copy this line and ask to chat GPT. Other options available instead of square. and ask question and send message. It shows you yes. In SNP heat map, the square parameters primarily control the aspect ratio of the cell. Setting square false or omit it as a false, it is default. The call, the cell will adopt to the overlap figures, aspect, ratio, and size, making them rectangular based on the shape of the heat map. But here are a few related options to customize the heat map layout and appearance further. You can adjust aspect ratio. Uh, you can annotate KWS uh, cell spacing. But I need something more. I need, uh, but I am asking, can I add? Can I add circle or pi instead of 
Skir. It's showing yes. You can use circle instead of square in the heat map by creating correlation matrix plot using matplotlib directly uh, or with Seaborn or matlab plot combined. Here's how to achieve a circular display. Using cir circles in a heat map, instead of filled cell, you can represent the correlation values as circles of varying size or color. So you need to uh, replace, here is the aspect ratios and uh, he give me a new code or oh, copy and check it. Paste here. And run this code. No. Here are the circles. If you should show, I just need upper half. Uh, yes, uh, Komara, you can share your screen. Just give me a one minute. Copy. Here is the upper half. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Kumara, please share your screen. I have allowed you. Uh, Kumara, please share your screen. Okay. Uh, run this code. Yes, it's it, it's giving you a correlation matrix. Okay. No, you need to again come on your chat GPT. It's giving you correlation table, not its graph. No, you need to convert this graph into you are uh, into uh, sorry convert this table into graph. Open chat GPT. Please click on chat GPT and write a line. Thanks. Thanks. Please type thanks. Uh, no, also create. Please also create. It's plot. It's correlation plot. And send message. And send message to chat GPT. Okay, uh, copy this code, open Python, paste here, you need to read and edit this code because uh, here file is also in CSV file, replace uh, CSV with Excel. Okay, also give your file name. Okay, now run this code.
Wait, please. It's working. There is a dot which is filled. You need until this filled dot disappears. Yes. Copy this code. Uh, pick this plot, drag and drop into your uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, hopefully, uh, uh, you are you can understand how to use ChatGPT for your own data set, for your uh, specific analysis, and for specific data set. Now, I am giving you a task, so you need to complete this task. Uh, please, all participants, note this task. Uh, Kumara, please type here. Uh, type a task in new line below below new line on new line end of this end of this screen please come on scroll down yes this line give hashtag please all participant note the task Create a dendrogram. Create dendrogram with the help of ChatGPT and Python. Create a dendrogram. Dendrogram with the help of ChatGPT and Python. So in second line, come on. Okay, no, in second task. Create a plot, create a bar plot. For multiple variables. Create a bar plot for multiple variables in Python and third task is create third task is create Please note third task, create heat map plot with dendrogram. Create a heat map plot with dendrogram. So you need to complete all these on PyCus dataset with the help of ChatGPT and Python. Okay. Okay, thank you. And in our next class, we will uh, do some more advanced tools, more advanced way for data analysis. And we, as in today class, we have learned some vocabulary like uh, n not uh, c map and uh, square equal true. And similarly, we will learn other vocabularies in upcoming classes. Okay, thank you. Uh, please do practice, uh, create this plot and share within group.